Hey y'all, you gotta see this. Hey everybody, it's Woody with Hindsight. I'm uh, here at Summit Collision Center. Uh, this is where I work normally uh, through the week. Uh, anyway, uh, we're uh, going to paint that 78 uh, F-250 today. Uh, come on into the shop. We'll take a look around and uh, show you what we got set up. Uh, hopefully I can get the video camera set up in the uh, booth a little bit where you can see what I'm doing. Uh, here we go. We're going to have a good time today. All right, here's my office. Scale, normally when we're spraying through the week, we're spraying some speed sacker water. Uh, I chose not to do that with Jeff's truck, so we're gonna spray some Cobra from air uh, solvent. Uh, got some 72500 clear. I'm gonna put two or three, uh, at least three coats on. I'm gonna put some Mason sealer on it. I'm gonna uh, seal it really good and then uh, probably dry it down and scuff it in between that and the base coat. So this is what we got set up. It's a whole lot of truck in a paint booth. So got, the, got her set down on the ground, some blocks underneath it, got the wheel and tires out off of it. Uh, so we're all masked up, uh, me and my uh, partner that I work with through the week he uh, stayed and helped me get a mask up last night so that saved me a couple hours so he said we got the wheels and tires off of it so it's down as low as I can get it I'm short so I'll have to be hanging like a monkey off this thing to uh, be able to get it all painted up Kevin uh, Kevin done all the prep work I didn't I didn't touch this thing uh, other than jamming it in when you saw in the earlier videos uh, I haven't done any work to this truck at all until last night so, looks like everything I haven't seen anything yet that's gonna be a problem uh, I'm gonna wipe it down here after this video and some wax and grease remover and make sure that everything is kosher we were kind of fondling all over it yesterday with getting the bed moved back and everything. So, got all kinds of little pieces that we forgot earlier. This is for the uh, vent visor. We're going to respray the glove box door. It shrunk back and done some funky stuff, so we're going to go ahead and repaint it. This is for the uh, seat belts. A couple odd and end bolts and screws. So, like I said, we're. Uh, we're getting ready to have some fun. Hopefully I can get the video camera in here and at least you can see part of me doing some stuff. So anyway, we'll be back here in a little while. <laughs> Come on in, Kevin. <laughs> Special guest. Look, hey, what it's are you Kevin doing? from Heimzai. <laughs> He's coming to make sure that I don't screw up in three hours what he's working a whole year on. Amen. What you doing? Mixing up some sealer.
All right, so this is Woody with hindsight again. Uh, in between my first and second coat of base, and as you may or may not notice, all the paper that is here on the bottom, that was plastic with the sealer coat and the first coat of base. Uh, in the first coat of base, you might have noticed uh, when I was spraying this bedside that I had a spot that flaked up and it came off the plastic and I don't know if you can tell but there's little spots there's like seven or eight of them all over this bedside so it was flaking off the plastic and getting up on there you can see some of the remnants right here that's all stuff that was on the plastic that was flaking off. So, what we do, if this was a regular, just a regular job that was in the shop, I probably would have tried to risk it and uh, been a little bit careful and just tried to spray it. Uh, with this thing, we're not going to do that. We, uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to fix the problem before we have a major problem. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go around. I'll kind of do a little nib on the base, make sure there's a little speck of dirt right there. I'll, uh, I'll kind of nub it down before we put a second and third coat of base on. So I'm stopping a problem before it becomes a problem. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to set up the camera. You can see what, uh, what I'm going to do when I'm kind of scuff sanding and everything. Uh, we'll be back with you here pretty quick. Alright, Woody with Hines out again. Uh, got my problem rectified, got everything scuffed back down, blew the floor of the booth off, retacked the vehicle, you know, had to scuff it out a couple of uh, nibs, uh, repapered the bottom of the bed, uh, just to make sure that we weren't going to have a problem at a later date. Uh, so, color's made for the second coat, we're ready to rock and roll, I'm going to go in here and do it. So, uh, hang tight. <laughs> Uh, we're getting ready to go put some clear on the truck. 
Uh, had the little problem there after the first coat of base, but after that everything's been pretty smooth sailing. Uh, been taking my time, letting things dry up in between coats. So uh, we're good to go. Uh, everything's set up in a booth, co uh, clear's made. We're ready to roll, so uh, let's go do it.
At this point, you're probably thinking, I've seen this already. This looks just like every step in this video. Uh, but I wanted to leave this in here for three reasons. A, I wanted to show every step. Some car shows will show a car or truck go into a paint booth, quick little montage of a painter painting, and then out comes a shiny paint job. So I wanted to make sure that I reflected the amount of work that goes into this type of paint job. Two, I found it really interesting to see the paint booth in action. With a lot of this video, you can see, especially with the clear, the overspray or the the spray in the air, you can really see that paint booth suck that away from the truck and into the filtration system. Uh, if you'll remember when we did the door jams at Kevin's garage, you can definitely tell a difference between the two. And C, I just wanted to show how much work goes into a paint job like this. I mean, basically, this was one day seven coats from sealer to paint to clear and uh, this was no joke hey y'all you gotta see this look at that I'm ready to pull it out of the booth. Just got the bed pulled back up on it all the way. Put some tires and wheels on it. And drive it out of there. We'll get some more videos out on it. We got a little bit more room.